Well, good day everybody. Today I thought I'd make some cabbage rolls. Got one head of cabbage. Uh, didn't core or nothing yet. Uh, instead of boiling it, steaming it to get the leaves off, I'm going to microwave it. I actually got this recipe from a neighbor who's a very good cook. So I wanted a good recipe to make cabbage rolls, so I got her recipe. So these are all the ingredients. Let's go ahead and get the uh, cabbage done first. And you really can't get much easier than this. Go ahead and put your cabbage in. Do it on that side first, then we'll do it on the other side. Basically, we're going to do it for five minutes on high. All right, that was the first five minutes. Now all we'll do is take your cabbage and lay it on the other side, like such. And we'll do uh, five minutes on that side. And while our cabbage is getting ready in the microwave, this is uh, two pounds of ground meat. Actually using ground chuck that I actually ground myself. Cheaper to ground it yourself than it is to buy ground meat sometimes. So this is eight ounces of that uh, seasoning blend. I'm going to add that in there. And you got bell peppers, onions, uh, red bell peppers, I think some celery. Not at all sure what's in it, but... And also we're going to have uh, two cups of cooked rice. So we're going to go ahead and add that to it as well. Now since everybody's taste is different, uh, I'm only guesstimating that my seasonings. I'm using some Cajun seasoning. This is the one I like using. Uh, it actually has a little bit less salt in it than Tony's. So I don't know. I, I, that's usually the one I get. I'm using a one and a half tablespoons of the Cajun seasoning. So let me get this mixed up a little bit first, then I'll add the seasoning to it and get everything well incorporated. Okay, so I got everything uh, mixed up pretty good. Go ahead and add our uh, Cajun seasoning to it. Or if you wanted to, salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, just make your own. But like I said, I use a tablespoon and a half. Now let me go ahead and get this mixed up really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and check my seasoning in my meat. Uh, I'm going to add me a little bit of my, my mixture to my non-stick skillet here. And I'm going to lightly uh, cook this and give it a little taste. See if I got to add anything else before I start stuffing all the rolls with it. Okay, I got my uh, meat uh, just cooked through. And uh, don't, I didn't overcook it, you know, just maybe, I don't know, about four minutes or so. Go ahead and give it a little taste. And we'll see if we got to adjust anything. Mmm, let's see. Salt's good. Salt's real good. Got a little kick to it. Mmm, I do like a little spice. So I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it. Not a lot. Okay, so what I'm going to add to it, I'm going to go ahead and add a... Uh, half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder and we're going to add also a little bit cayenne pepper and I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of some uh, ground cayenne pepper to it and that's pretty much it like I said the, uh, the salt was good in it so that's that's all I'm going to add let me go ahead and get this mixed up then we'll make start making the rolls alright so, here's our cabbage that we did in the microwave for about 10 minutes total, 5 minutes per side. Now we'll go ahead and uh, remove the core from it. And when you cut it, cut down on, on an angle. And that'll, that should get the pop right out. Alright, core is done. Now we'll go ahead and start peeling it. And the very, uh, the very first couple leaves, uh, they usually might be a little dirty, so I'll just kind of dis discard those. And there's our cabbage. Now we'll go ahead and start peeling it. And just to show you how simple this is, like I said, this is my first time doing it. Uh, just get your little leaf and, uh, you know, try not to break it. And it comes off perfect every time. Uh, I already did two of them. So let me go ahead and do the rest of it. 
Okay, so this is like by far the, the easiest way of, of, I think that you could possibly do a cab. I mean, the leaves come off perfect, like every time. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a, a nice shortcut to, to learn uh, when you're making cabbage rolls. Microwave it for 10 minutes and they're, they're per it's still a little hot, so, but yeah, it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna leave this part uh, for now and I'm going to start making a few, and I'll see how many I can make. And as I make them, I'm going to just kind of stack them on the side here. So let me make a couple. I'm going to get the method down correctly, and then I'll show you how to make one. Okay, I made one. Very simple. Get you a fourth of a cup for the measurer. Pack it pretty tight. Take it out. I start it on the, uh, where the stem side is. Just kind of put it in there. And you basically make... Make your, uh, you don't even have to roll it, like just kind of fold it over like this before you even start. And then just kind of fold it like this and put the seam side down. And to me, that's perfect. That's how they should look. So let me get them all made. Okay, I made 21 uh, cabbage rolls and I had a little bit of the cabbage left over. I'll probably just saute this down and eat it as a little side dish, maybe with a little salt meat. Um, so that's how you do them. Uh, my last couple, the leaves were getting kind of small, so I, I ended up doubling the uh, leaf to make it the uh, last two. Uh, this was one of them, and I think it might have been this one for the other one. And I put a little bit less of the meat mixture in them as well. But uh, yeah, that's how many I made. Like I said, the bigger the leaf, the better they are. So that's how you do it. Now let me show you, let me show you the next step. Get it ready to bake. Probably don't have to do this, uh, being the uh, the ground chuck is going to have a pretty good amount of grease in it, but uh, I'm going to add maybe a, a teaspoon of olive oil to my bottom and just kind of, you know, coat it. Take your one can of uh, tomato sauce, dump that in the bottom, and we're going to add a little bit of water to it as well. And I actually used about a fourth of a can of water, and that's pretty much it. Kind of spread that out a little bit. Get all the bottom nice and coated with the sauce. Now we'll go ahead and layer our rolls in the pan. And uh, as you uh, place them, just make sure you got the seam side uh, down. Uh, very important. That way everything stays nice and sealed. And if I can't get them all, I can't get them all. You know, I'll just put these to the side and maybe just freeze them and just cook them. You know, cook them later. If my pan's not quite big enough, so. Let me get all of them laid in there. Okay, so I had uh, I had four left that wouldn't fit. That's fine. I might just put those to the side. Um, I might even saute them on, on the stove with a little bit of tomato sauce, you know, later on. But I'm gonna probably freeze them just like that. They'll be fine. Uh, this is one can of the uh, original Rotel. I'm gonna get me a spoon and kind of mix that up first, though. All right. Now at this point, we'll go ahead and put our Rotel directly on top of our uh, our uh, cabbage rolls oh lord that's gonna be good this is gonna be supper tonight by the way <laughs> uh, i can't wait to this is my first time making cabbage rolls by the way i've, I've never made cabbage rolls before uh, one thing with my channel is i'm i'm making new recipes that i haven't tried like you know at all and uh my neighbor makes these all the time and they're absolutely delicious so I wanted to call her to get her recipe to make it. And thankfully she gave it to me. So let me get that all done. And whatever's left in your can, just kind of just kind of dump it in. That's pretty much it. And just kind of, you know, make it where they all got a little bit of the rotel on, on top, you know, kind of e equal amounts. Make it look good. And if you wanted to, if you had some can of diced jalapenos you could dump that on there too if you wanted to but i'm leaving it just like this this is her recipe so there you go now we'll cover it tightly with foil right everything's done we're gonna bake this in the oven for an hour and a half at 350 degrees and maybe about midway i'll kind of lift it up and kind of peek to make sure all the water's not cooking out all right go ahead and put it in the oven now Got it sealed nice and tight in the uh, foil. Put it in the middle rack. 
I'm gonna bake it for one hour and 30 minutes. And I think at the one hour mark, I'll go ahead and open it up, make sure the, uh, there's still enough liquid in there. If, it, if it's drawn out, I'll add a little bit more water to it. All right, hour and 30 minutes is done. Let's go ahead and see what we look like here. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove the, the foil here. That's how we look. I'd say we got success. And all, I didn't add any liquid to it the whole time. Everything's uh, just like it was when I put it in the oven. Well, let's put a few on a plate. And we'll give it a little taste and see what we got. Okay, let's see how my first attempt at making uh, cabbage rolls came out. I believe I can eat three of these. Should be no problem. <laughs> they sure smell good when I took them out of the oven. So I'm gonna put a little bit, put a little bit of gravy on top. Oh yeah, that that looks delicious. I must say. I actually just sent my neighbor over three of them. She's the one that gave me the recipe. So I'll see what they what she says about it. There you go. Now let's give it a little taste. That's the most important part. And let's see what we got. Well course we gotta give it a taste there that's the most important part see how we uh see how we look inside the cabbage roll before we take a little bite oh yeah that's cooked perfect all right got a little bit of the rotel a little bit of the cabbage a little bit of the rice and that's how we look yeah let's give it a taste Mm-hmm. That's very good. I mean, you really can't get easier than that. I mean, that's just a simple cabbage roll and probably the easiest way to make them using the microwave. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'll be eating all three of these. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks.